Do you want to be in control of your media? Over the recent years, subscription-based platforms like Netflix and Spotify have transformed the way we purchase and consume media. While their applications are very simple to use, we are not owning our music and movies anymore. If a series or movie we like disappears from the catalog, we need to purchase it elsewhere. Based on your birth date, you might have lived in a period in which we actually bought CDs and DVDs and you still own a lot of media. This is where Jellyfin platform reconciliates both worlds, a modern experience to play your media on any of your devices. Before discovering its main features through a quick platform overview, let's see the options available to start using it. You can download it from Jellyfin official website and install it on your media server. Or you can use our platform LSGO to take care of the installation, update, backups and maintenance. You just have to drag and drop your media and you're ready to go. To install Jellyfin on our platform, go to ls.io, hit login, click on deploy my first service, search for Jellyfin, hit select, choose your cloud provider, I will choose Kaleway, adjust your region and resources you need, I will keep the default one, hit next. You have the choice between different levels of support, the first one is included, I will keep it, and hit create service. Once the installation is finished, you receive an email telling thee that your instance is ready. You can follow the link by clicking on you can access web UI. From there, because it's the first time someone connects to the instance, we have to select the default settings. First, it's asking us if we want to enable push notification. Let's allow it. Then there is a quick start guide, but we won't follow it because this is what we are going to do together in this video. And we can also choose the default language. I will stick to English, but you can see the list is huge. Then hit next. You have to create the main account. You can choose a different username, but by default, it will prompt you root. I will keep it. Enter your password and hit next. Now we need to set up our media libraries. If you want to know what it is, we can follow the link here. It leads us to their documentation explaining what it is. It's a virtual collection of media and can contain files from several different locations on the server. We will do together the different steps to set it up but I wanted to show it to you because if there is anything you're lacking information from when you use the platform or from this video, you can always refer to the documentation to find it. But because libraries are related to collection of media contains on the server, first let's add some media inside our server. Go back to LSTO, open your instance here, go to tools, and from there we have different tools available via code if you want to code directly on your server, or the one that will interest us is File Explorer. Let's open it. Copy the password and click on the link to open it. Username is root, password from my clipboard, and hit login. Then you can see that by default, it opens slash opt slash app, which means we are inside our instance of Jellyfin. So the content will be available to Jellyfin. If you want to access the root data from your server, just click on the home and you can access to anything you need. But let's go back to the application, go to storage. Here you have the different folders that might interest you. Let's add different files in media, but let's keep it organized. Let's say we want to create later two libraries, one for um, music and another one for videos. So we will create two separate folders to keep it organized. So let's name it videos. I drag the big bug bunny video that is famous from Blender and is free of rights. Of course, I won't ask you where your videos are coming from. I hope you purchased them legally. Then go again to media, create another folder, this time for music. And let's drag and drop two music that I prepared. So we have two different songs. The first one is a famous one, but you can see in the title, it doesn't represent the sound. So it's interesting to see how uh, Jellyfin will handle it. And the second one is a song I made a few years ago, but just to see how it handles songs, it doesn't know. Now our media is correctly on the server. Let's start by creating our media libraries. Let's start by creating the music one. So you can choose the content type for each library. We will only show movies and music, but you can use shows, books, photos, and combine different ones. Here we will keep the name to music, but you can use a different file name if you want to split by genre or by different criteria. Then you need to add the folder where your media is located. As it's in media, and in media it's the music folder. Hit OK 
and you can add multiple folders. Here we only have one because it's a demo, but if you have a huge library, you can either use the parent, but if it's in separate folder, you can click on the plus and repeat the operation. You can select different settings, but let's keep it. You can choose which metadata downloader you use. So it will fetch the information like the title, the thumbnail of the album from those websites for media it knows. Let's keep the default one. When do you want to refresh the metadata? You can keep it to never or do it frequently if your media is meant to evolve. Let's keep the default one. Same for image features and hit OK. We added our music library. Let's click on Next. Then we have to set up the global preferred metadata language. Let's keep English and United States. You need to decide if you want to allow remote connection to the server, of course, using the username password. But if you uncheck it, you will need to be on the same network. And there is enable automatic port mapping, but you don't need it. So keep it like this and hit next. You're done following the quick start. Let's hit finish. Now we need to sign in to the account we just created. So let's follow it and sign in. You can see that our instance already contains our music because we created the library. It automatically got the different music from it. So we have my song that has no name in it and no metadata available online. So it just used its title. While the other file, it was able to get the title and artist from the metadata and not from the file name. Before trying it, let's add another library. Go on the top left here, go to administration dashboard, go to libraries and add another one. Content type, it will be movies. Display name, we keep movies, but again, you can organize a better way if you need and want to. Add the folder, it's in media and videos, it's the one we created. Okay. And then let's keep the default settings. You can enable chapter image extraction, so it will take screenshots of your video, but it, there is a warning that it takes a lot of time. So let's disable it and click on OK. When you add new media, the content will be automatically scanned by your server. But if you just add new content to your server and you want it immediately to appear on your instance, you can use the scan all libraries option. It will process all the files and add them to your instance. So let's go back to the home. And now we have the movies. You can see we have an image to represent our video here. We have our latest music here. Let's open the music collection. In albums, it wasn't able to find an album. So let's go to artists. And automatically we have Paul Engeman that appeared and we have its picture that it got from the metadata website fetcher. Right now it's not very visual because we don't have many songs, but you can have your full collection available here and it will look like any media platform. Let's try to play the media in our browser. It works fine. Let's say we don't want to play the media directly from our desktop device, but we want to play from another device. You can find the list of all Jellyfin clients available on their website in the download section. You can see they have the media player for desktop. They have an Android application, an iOS application. You don't need to download it from here. Instead, it leads you to the App Store or the Play Store. So you just have to download them on the respective store. Let's do it for the Apple one. In the App Store, let's go and search for Jellyfin. In this one, Jellyfin Mobile. Click on Download. Once it's done, let's open it. We need to paste our server address. So if you are using a Mac, you can copy it on your desktop. Copy everything. Go back to your mobile and paste. Now hit Go. And we have the login screen, which means it's successfully connected to it. Our username is root and our password, I don't want to show it to you. So let's use instead quick connect. So we have a code we have to type and on our server, we can go here, quick connect. We enter the code. So for me, it's 445455. Click on authorize and I'm automatically connected on my iOS device without typing the user password. Now I have access to my same content. It is on my iPhone. It could be, for example, on my TV at home. Let's try to play the music. Hey, listen.
it's working fine. Let's go back here and this time let's try to play the video. It seems it's working fine. We can play our media on our mobile coming from our remote server hosted on LSQ or anywhere if you host it by yourself. Let's go back to the desktop version which is approximately the same even if the mobile is a bit enhanced for mobile. The desktop is meant for web browser. You have different options on the top. So here you have a group icon. Let's create a group. And when you create a group, you will be able to play in sync mode, which means you have friends on different locations. You can synchronize the playback. So if you want to watch a movie together or watch a series together, it's completely doable. Of course, complete your collection by adding your other type of media like your photos and books. And then go to administration dashboard and you have a few options to enhance it. First of all, you can see who did what and when on the activity panel. You can extend it to see more about it. You can see all the different devices who accessed it and when. You can revoke access or edit it. You can invite other users if you want to, to share access to your collection and if you kept the access public. There are even features for advanced users using live TV and DVR. And if you want to go beyond the default integration, you can go to plugins and install different ones from their catalog. Here is the list of the different ones available. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Jellyfin with us. If it's the case, please hit the like button. It helps our channel be more visible to other open source software lovers. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or join our Discord community to discuss with us. Link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our upcoming platform overviews. Don't worry, we have already many other open source software that can interest you, like this one available here.